Southwest Florida parent is upset that her 10-year-old daughter has to walk nearly four miles round trip to school, all because the school district won't let her ride the bus. She wants to know if the district will work with her on this. So foreign reporter's Eli Roberts taking her concerns to school district headquarters. Kids go to school in the morning. Who can see anything out here anyway? Now imagine sending your 10-year-old off to school in these kinds of conditions on foot next to a busy road. That's exactly what's happening for one Cape Coral mother. No, why, I wouldn't. Why wouldn't you walk down this road? Well, A, there's no walkways. Um, uh, there's way too much traffic, and my back is to it, <laughs> regardless of what side I'm on. Um, it's just not safe. Doesn't matter how busy the street is or that there aren't any sidewalks. Anne Marie's daughter has to walk to school because she lives 1.9 miles from her elementary. The district doesn't provide bus service within two miles of the school. That's not acceptable. Um, she's 10 years old. She does not belong walking on a major road. This is the first time heavy traffic is no longer a problem on McKinsey's walk to school. You can see it's the first time she reaches a sidewalk on her nearly two mile journey and it's right in front of her elementary school. Now, by the time she gets to this point, she's already passed by a number of other serious problems. I did a little research, and, and there's 23 sex offenders in a four-mile radius. Um, 23 sex offenders? Yes, 23, 22 of which were convicted of crimes and charged and convicted of crimes on children on, between the ages of, like, 12 and 15. Take a look at this map. Five of those offenders live right on McKinsey's route. So anyone approaching her can... It can I mean, it happens every day, I mean, and I, I don't want to be the mother that gets a knock on the door, you know. Lots of traffic, no sidewalks, sex offenders on the walking route. I wanted to find out what Lee County Schools can do to help. Hi, I'm calling for Joe Donzelli. At 4 p.m., Joe had left for the day, but earlier our assignment desk got an email from Joe. And he says, the school is waiting to hear from Mrs. Narber about this issue so they can work together to find a solution. I called the school, <laughs> and they told me, Nope, you do not qualify. That answer disturbs Anne Marie. She did address the issue, and the school's doing nothing. I would hope that, you know, as parents and grandparents, that they would look at it and say, you know what, no, I wouldn't put my child on that street either, you know. Anne Marie says she's willing to walk her daughter to a bus stop nearby. She just wants to make sure her daughter gets on a bus, period. Yet so far, she's only gotten resistance from Lee County Schools. In Cape Coral, Eli Roberts, Fox 4, in your corner. Now, in that email, that spokesman, Joe Donzelli for the district, sent earlier, he said that Anne Marie had not contacted the school and that he didn't know if she had called the school system. He said that today, but Anne Marie said she went to the school yesterday and did not get the answer she was looking for. Meanwhile, Anne Marie's outraged about something else. She says she could end up behind bars just for leaving her daughter home alone. Florida law makes it illegal for any kid under 12 to stay home, yet Anne Marie's appalled it's still legal for her 10-year-old to walk two miles to school.